Well, hey guys, welcome back to some more to the moon. Uh, we're gonna be playing the Minnesota. Uh, I think it's called a Sick Corp Minnesota One. Uh, you just open this up and the game immediately begins. I mean, there's really no time for me to talk. There's no main menu or something. So hey, welcome back to more to the moon. I, uh, this is a completely blind playthrough of the Minnesota. I just finished the uh, playing through all the the main game. I loved it. That was such a gratifying experience, but also bittersweet. Uh, so we ha we are going. It appears we are going to be embarking on a few more adventures with Eva and uh, Doctor Neil Watts, which is just wonderful. I love these characters. I love their dynamic. Uh, at the end of the main game, we got a little bit of hint that uh, Doctor Watts seems to uh, be secretly battling some kind of ailments he's taking painkillers i think so i wonder if we're going to be getting a bit knowledge about that but maybe not because this game uh, to the moon right now has an official sequel called uh twilight something i'm going to play that uh i'm going to play a bird st bird story next bird story is the uh, next uh, free bird game that I'm going to be playing and I think it takes place in the same universe although it wouldn't share any thematic similarity with it but anyway hey let's go with a uh, sick corp here and uh, sick I think it's just referring to Sigmund which is the company that they are working for and as you can see at the opening I think this company is not all that popular i mean maybe it's popular maybe they're just it's just controversial i think someone is throwing tomatoes at the uh, employees and uh, we got nail here just being his cheer for himself and uh, setting a trap for eva so let's see what's gonna happen hey eva come to my office i've got some nail where are you the meeting started an hour ago what oh shit Oh, I think he just got anti-pranked. Wait, there's no meeting today. Yeah, there you got owned. Yeah, and I'm not dumb. Twice in one day, really? Besides, that's actually dangerous. What if it hits my head without tipping over? But you still made it hit my head? That's different, yours is pretty thick. But I still got you once. Excuse me for giving you a chance to even the scores. But seriously, drop by. I actually do have something to show you. Just give me a few first. You gonna go say hi to them at the party downstairs? Maybe later. Grab me a drink if you go. There's a party down there? Why? Well, <laughs> you should've asked him to join the party then. Oh, then he wouldn't be any, uh, he wouldn't have any incentive to go. Right. Uh, let's check out some of the other rooms. So, what is this place? Whose office is this? Dear diary, today I... Shoot, I can't just leave my diary out like this. Okay, so this is her office. Better lock it away before someone sees. Can I see it? You see, these games aren't that big on, you know, interacting. Let's compare it to some of the other games in the same genre. It's locked. Okay, I'll check out your stupid office. Hey, it's not ready yet. Damn it. Okay, I'll just go sightseeing. Mm, I can ride the elevator, but maybe not. All these rooms are locked. Do Doctor Watch Room? Seriously? I can't even do my business here. Okay, let's write this down. 
or maybe up. Didn't give me a chance to select the floors. What? I just remembered. Could you also give me some cake with a drink? How do you know there'd be cake? There's always cake, and I want it. Well, pick one. I'm not your waitress. Hey, so which is it? Nail. I'm thinking. Look, I gotta go. I'll call you back. Something's more important than cake. Well, the cake is a lie. Hey, Doctor Roseanne Winters. Oh, hey, Eva. Roxy, you're right. What's with this spooky music? Huh? Oh, well, we went outside to get something from the car, and well, you know, them again, huh? Well, it is that time of the year. Look, don't tell the others, okay? I don't want everybody to be all tensed up about it. Hmm, maybe it'll be all cleared by the time everyone leaves. I hope so. So is she like afraid to leave the office now? Come on, let's go see what the others are up to. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the pr what people outside are angry about. I mean, the nature of their job is probably pretty controversial. So we are stuck with a Roxy for a while. Hey, it's a party, and there is cake. Okay, Roxy didn't stick at all. Uh, how about presents? Do I have one? I mean, we just nailed that Johnny deal. Actually, did we do that? I mean, is does this happen after the main game? I don't know. I I don't know if it if it matters. That would that would depend on the story of this little chapter. Hey, Willis. Looks like Logan's pulling a move on your girl over there. Wait, what? Pshh. She ain't going anywhere. Oh, I don't know, Willis. Logan does sing like an angel. I do. Yeah, Willis, and I heard he's an exquisite dancer too. I am. Well, I got three strands of hair on my head, and each one of them is willing to fight him in the parking lot. Okay, this is getting too weird for me. Yeah, we're just picking people apart. Uh, can we talk to him again? By the way, thanks for covering my double call yesterday, Willis. I heard it went well. Eh, not much I haven't seen at this point. It's been a hectic season, though. Don't you think you could use some, you know, break, Tama too? Ah, don't you worry about us. We've still got some kicks left in the old bones. Besides, some patients prefer us having practitioners with more life experience. Just be sure to take care, Willis. You've your limits too. Eva, have peace of mind knowing that when the day comes, our fate will be in your own hands. Hey, don't be so dark. Nah, that's not dark. That's actually pretty nice. I mean, I, I'm guessing part of the package of working in this company is that they guarantee you to die feeling happy and fulfilled. That's pretty major. Look, I know it's hard to not think about it, but worrying doesn't fix anything. I know, but what was your last patient's wish, huh? Oh, well, she wished to see the world, and did she? Yeah, we took her all over. I even caught glimpses of places that I haven't been to. She was so happy. It sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for. Oh, it sounds like she would have really appreciated what you did for her. Hmm. You've helped a lot of people, Roxy. I'm sure if they could speak to you, they'd all tell you. What's out there right now doesn't change that. I guess so. I do feel better thinking of that. Thanks, Eva. It's the holidays. Don't let it ruin the mood. Mm-hmm. Um,、uh, is this like the holiday special? Can we take 
slice of cake with promised nail. Uh, let's talk to them. Dr. Logan Boswell. Hey, Eva. Hey! How did that last mission go? I heard you guys ran into some complications. It was fine. Bureaucracy just got in the way. But I'm trying to forget about work now. There's enough of that to go around later. Taiman, Taiman and I are discussing our taste in early Baroque paintings. They're all good. Yes. Yes, they are. Seems like there's nothing to talk about. Eva, my dear. Good afternoon, Tema. That's Tema, Tema McMillan. You know, you never responded to the email I sent you about my nephew. I attached a photo of him and everything. Um, thanks, but I'm just not looking. Oh. It's the boy new, isn't it? What? No! I like to keep my... I like to keep my personal and professional life separate. Wow, then that's just one more reason why my nephew is perfect for you. You two are gonna be so happy together. Uh, her surname is McMillan. Is that also his? Yes. Have a good time, Eva. You too. Why are you just standing there? Uh, just resting my eyes, that's all. So I have additional dialogue with everyone. Let me know if you ever change your mind about my nephew, dear. He's a catch. Is that drink alcoholic? I have no clue. <laughs> you should have seen Willis when he was young. What a stud. Um. Okay. I'm gonna explore everybody's dialogue. Where's Nail? In his office. I don't really know what he's up to. As per usual, I see. Relax a little, Eva. You've earned it. I just love the feeling of crunchy snow under your feet. It's like popping bubble wraps for your boots. I love the feeling too, by the way. I can't wait for the next big snowfall. But well, you can... Hey. This is the guy that was getting smashed by potatoes earlier. Uh, I don't want to talk to him yet. Like... I got other people to talk to. This is Dr. Eddie Doyle. You know what bugs me, Lisa? We can alter memories, yet I can neither make my hair as buoyant as Logan's, nor as silky as yours. Yeah, it's a tragedy. Nice hat. I'm not really sure what to do here, Eva. Since we have a full house today, Eddie was allowed to drink. But now he won't stop talking. Maybe he just needs someone to listen. Yeah. That's what I fear the most. <laughs> Is Nail cocooning himself in his office again? I think that's the right word for it. Man, if you can take Eddie off of my hands, that's all you want. Well, I'll try talking to him. I wish I'd heard so buoyant that wearing a hat would make it a concealed weapon. Keep dreaming, Eddie. I, ha I wish I had hair so shiny that to gaze upon it would be prohibited by law. Aim for the sky, man. He's so obsessed with his hair. I wish I had hair so cool the 80s would ask me to return it. I don't think your field can grow that kind of corn. I wish I had hair so professional that you could put it in a suit and be mistaken for a CEO. What's wrong with Eddie? Oh, that's the slogan. What's wrong with Eddie? He had half a beer. Well, I think I've seen people worse off with half a beard, so this is not too bad. I wish I had hair so lush that everybody would have to blush. Preach it, brother. I wish I had, I wish I had hair so fair that people just couldn't help but stare. Mm-hmm. And let's see how far he can go here. I wish I had hair so beautifully rare that people would be all everywhere. You never... You ever read Snow White? Mm, yeah, people are f who are fair don't usually, aren't usually happy. I wish the hair so silky that the road would be beautiful so people would have traded throughout Asia. <laughs> Your head's not a garden, man. I wish the hair so smooth that I could rinse and then not repeat. Amen. Yeah, that would be pretty nice. 
I wish I had a hair so mighty that a lion would sleep there tonight. A bit strainy on the neck, but that does sound kind of cuddly. I wish I had hair so revolutionary that it would be elected. Uh huh. It's thoroughly amazing that they wrote this many dialogue about this guy's hair. I wish I had hair so heavenly soft that angels would sing whenever I removed my hat. Hmm. She's running out of things to reply. I wish the hair so majestic, horse trainers would try to tame it. Yet I wish I had hair so wild that it could not be tamed despite their efforts. Wow. I wish the hair so thick people would get lost from the sight of it. There's no response anymore. I wish it had had so hair that such. Wow. Yeah, he's he's shit faced. Okay, man. I think you should probably stop. I wait. No, no, you don't. <laughs> yeah, I think that's finally the end of it. Jeez. Uh, let's see what he wants. First, I'm gonna talk to her again. Did you get everything we needed? Oh, that's Dr. Robert Lin. Yeah. Uh, what's the problem then? Are you okay, Rob? I'm fine. Don't go out right now, Eva. I know. Roxy told me. Those persistent buggers. Looks like they're there to stay. Be careful out there, Eva. Some of them ain't got the manners. Okay. I think that's all the things I can get people to. Oh. Yeah? I'm ready, Eva. Come over when you can. What's he got for me? Uh, do I take cake for him? I don't think I can, so I'm just gonna have to return barehanded. I hope he's okay with it. He's gonna have to. Wait, is this not the door? Where's the door? I already forgot. Shit. Where did I come in? I thought it was here. Okay, let me just... Oh. <laughs> I have to use the keyboard to get out. No booby trap. Shut the door. Uh, why? Cause I'm supposed to be using this computer for work, remember? If Rob saw, he'd be all like, Slack it off again, nail dirt! We're not, op we're not closing the door then. What is that? Here, have my seat. He's not going to shut the door either. Oh, the rabbit. Remember that? Please tell me you folded it yourself. Line it up, there were hundreds of them. Okay, so this is definitely after the main game. Besides, it's not like Lily and the kids have any use for them anyhow. And what good is it to you? Jump start on your memory for one. Now, launch the program. I don't know if I want to. Oh, come on, I worked hard on it. What are we doing? Are we going back? Uh, what is going on? I'm scared. I didn't press start yet. What? Ta-da! <laughs> okay, I hear the music, the 8-bit version of it. 
This is just plainly disrespectful. Hey now, video games are an art form. They passed the laws decades ago. Yeah, but this might make them revoke it. Sticks and stones, Eva. You haven't even played it yet. Go on, try it. I, I, I do want to try it. What the hell? I got four hearts. Um, and the head of Nail Watts. That's Johnny. Whoa. I I ate his umbrella. I don't get it. Okay, I transported the umbrella to to River's tomb with the platypus. What the hell is going on? That unlocked the next area of the game. Apparently, it's some kind of puzzle. Oh uh, shit! Is that Eva? Yeah, we're gonna have a word about that. Looks familiar? Uh, gonna, are we gonna have to allow that? Well, we did fight off a bunch of Eva zombies during the playthrough, so I, this is kind of still faithful. Uh, I think I just wasted that. Oh, let me take the the bunny. Oh shit. Oh crap. <laughs> um, okay. Um, this is a little tricky So let's get here. This is safe Okay Nice We're giving this to Johnny Which opens up the next area. <laughs> this is pretty creative actually and this is probably already more gameplay than the main body of the game has combined. Oh shit, oh shit, nope. Well, no! Stop following me! Okay, middle-aged Johnny, what do you want? Aha, <laughs> Pickled Olive. Who do you want to give this to? Yeah, I could... I could use some health, actually. Who else but Johnny needs uh, the pickled olive? Crap. Oh, I locked out. I really locked out over there. What is this? This is not cool. Next one. Okay, here we go. Oh, we're giving it to River for some reason. I, I didn't know River like this at all. If that was Joey's thing, then it passed down to Johnny. Uh, we're gonna give the body to Johnny, obviously. Give me another bit of health. Okay. This is more than I bargained. I was I was not ready for this. I was so not ready for this.
Okay, hit detection is a little weird. I gotta say. Here's a bunny. Hey, I used to make games like this when I was your age. What the? This is what happens when you don't, don't close the door. How cute! Is that floating head character you, Neil? How long have you guys been standing there? Seems like you've been slacking off again. Man, I told you he'd say that. Get out of my office, you guys. This is my private space. Shoo, shoo. I guess Neil is not the last player. See, Eva, this is exactly what happens when you leave the door open. I was just saying that. I might as well go stretch my legs. Just realize you didn't get me a drink. Or cake. The cake is a lie. You can keep on playing, though. Oh, I'm gonna. <laughs> I think. I think she's really enjoying this. And it's not a not bad. It's, it's not a bad game at all. I I need a health. What what is this? What is that supposed to be? Okay, that the blue one is jumping around. Uh, moving rather oh shit it's moving rather erratically not clear on what I'm supposed to be doing oh should I have uh... oh boy oh, I don't have the shit mm. I think I'm supposed to transport something. Damn it. I'll just take that one. Okay, River just gave me uh, Emperor's new clothes, I presume. I still don't know what that is about. Now let's go back. Whoa. Close call, man. Okay, Johnny, here's your book. But n not that he, he ever reads that book. He's the Animorph guy. I mean, he doesn't even read Animorph. Johnny doesn't read anything. Hey, hey, Johnny. Wait. Uh, walk him all. Hey, he's totally the best at this game. And take the platypus. I'm, let me guess. I'm gonna give that to Baby River. That's sweet. That's also probably the end of the game. Aww. There she is. I guess this this job really affected Neo. She's happy. <sighs> to the moon. What a game. Even just a, an artistic representation like this is making me sad all over again. Oh shit. Oh no! It's, it's a bunch of evil evas. What's gonna happen? Uh. Where are you going? I'm not controlling this, by the way. Hey, what did you? Oh, I'm Neil. 
Do you wanna take the bunny? Okay, what did she do here? Maybe this is office of uh, Eva Rosalind. I didn't know you could check these out. Let's check all of them out. Of uh, office of Dr. Robert Lean. This is the office of uh, Roxy. Roxy and Winters. What about this one? Logan. Okay. She's not here either. Can I read her diary? Obviously not. No such luck. Hmm, where is she? So there's no place I can go to here. Um, just I guess I gotta take the elevator and seek her out downstairs. I wonder what she's preparing. A counter surprise? Okay, it's Nao's turn to talk to everybody. And then you were like, feel my hair, feel it. Man, I'm never drinking more than a shot of beer again. <laughs> he, he's sober now? That's kind of fast. But seriously, I made some of them my ringtone. Ugh, sorry about earlier. Uh, what happened earlier? You weren't there? Good, at least someone didn't see. Well, I saw. My head's still dizzy, it almost makes me want to take off my hat. But then... It's, and then your fabulous hair is going to be murderous, let me guess. Heard you were playing some game in your office again, huh? Rumors clearly. Where did the others go? Willis and Tamer left for home and I don't really know where Robert went. I'm surprised nobody here got called today. It was nice to have a peaceful gathering. And we've already delayed the party because Lisa and Eddie got called in last week. And yet you still don't come down to mingle with us. We got called out. Psst, Neil! Uh, I'm gonna see if there's any more dialogue with him. This cake sure wasn't well received today. I'll have to bake a better one next time. I'll have a piece, but right now I need to find Eva. Huh, haven't seen her. Maybe I put in too much fish. Or maybe you need to add a little more fish. Who doesn't like fish? Are you looking for Eva? Yeah, how do you know? I just saw her down the hall looking upset. Wait, why is that assumed to be my fault? Well, when I look at your face, I get a feeling that you'd piss me off a lot if you were my partner. But I mean that in the nicest way. In what way could that possibly be nice? Never mind. Look, thanks for the info. I'll go check upstairs. We, we just came back from up, uh, uh, upstairs. Can, we, can I take a piece of cake though? That, that cake has been a topic of pure sedation for some time now. Okay, I'll, I guess I'll go back. I mean, there's nowhere else I can go. Okay, this is a different floor. What do we have here? Mm, don't know. There she is. Is this the conference room? Did we really piss her off? Hey! You didn't finish the game. I've played enough of it. Don't tell me you're upset about the zombie, the zombie of us. 
You made them yourself, don't you remember? And it was clearly a joke, sheesh. I don't think that's exactly why. I'd ask when you had to become so uptight, but, you know. Come over here, Nail. Are you gonna punch me? I've been practicing my Kara Kwon Chun, you know. What the hell is that? I'm telling you, my hands are like lightning. Even I can't contain my moves. Nah, she really has something to say. Whoa. Record to show up, huh? Roxy said they've been gathering since morning. That's quite some dedication for no pay. When I signed up for this job, I thought it'd be respectable. Fulfilling dreams and all. But those who thank us are the dead. And those who support us are the dying. You might not like how I do things, but I do them for the patient's sake. And more often than I like for yours. To save your sorry ass from getting fired. Yeah, good job with that. I'm a, it's a feat. Do you think they're right? Hmm? All those people out there, they're... All standing for what they think is right. Gee, I sure hope not. But hey, everybody has their beliefs. There are a lot of them, but don't forget that there are a lot of people with us too. Remember Lily? They aren't as, they aren't as outspoken because those who are content rarely find the need to bother. Yeah, the vocal minority theory. But we have to remember that they are out there and remember each patient we once visited. Remember how hard we tried and how they left this world with a smile in the place of a frown. Sometimes that, feeling, that fleeting moment of shared happiness is all it takes to make it all worth it. Are you drunk, Neil? Hey, I'm just recycling Rob's BS here. Give me a break. playing with a machine but look if, if what you're asking me whether what we do matters I guess it does with a brief fraction of a second before they pass on is that enough for you sometimes I don't really know how about you are you really happy doing this hey I'm just happy that we make a lot of dough don't know about you but I'm totally bawling at the grocery, I'm all like, heck yeah, I'll shell out five cents for a plastic bag, here's a quarter. That's how I roll. And he has, of course he has the sunglasses to go. You know, that game you made of it, it wasn't all terrible. I'm listening. I mean, the graphics are antique and the gameplay's a pushover, but... Is this some self-criticizing here? I'm surprised you still I'm surprised you still remember all that Johnny and the River stuff. Yeah, how long ago was that? Yeah, sorry about the zombie of us. But hey, you should have really played till the end. All the zombie of us rally together and become the heroes to save the day. Really? Totally! And they're like fireworks in the pom pom poms. Is all the Johnny's the rivers change her name? Hmm. I guess I should go finish it then. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Let's not be hasty, Nag. So it's not really how it ends. The game's not going anywhere. You can go finish it in uh, one or no, two weeks. Oh, he's gonna reprogram the ending. Hello? Thanks for the discount, but we're not looking for premium snow plowing service right now. You should encode your number. That'll block most of the telemarketers. Just kidding. We're actually being drafted by a patient in critical condition. Wait, what? Understood. We'll be right over. Are you serious? Yeah, come on. We, we can't afford to be late. You can't just joke around about these things. You're serious? Nail?
um is there supposed to be some huge revelation here <laughs> I guess not okay I guess that's the first minisode f uh, for to the moon it's cute and it's always good to spend more time with these characters I like them a lot These are really short and sweet. I don't really, li I really like that. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and play the second Minnesota, and after that, I guess I'll jump to the next Freebird game. Uh, I think it's called the Bird Story. So see you then.